Ruby for hi you guys. I miss you people, you know. How's been your day? How you doing? I hope you guys are doing so great and fine. I wish you all the best out there. Wow, if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, I love you so much for always stopping by, for always checking on the numbers. And if you're a new subscriber, oh my god, you are so highly welcome to the family. And if you are yet to subscribe, please take a moment and hit the red button right beside you, know, by the right, by your right hand side. I hit the bell beside it to get updates from the novels. Please don't be a passerby. Always subscribe and support. <music> Today's video is I. I want to share uh, the testimony of my baby's delivery. Her uh, birthday was uh, two days ago. Okay. It all started on wow, 18 of October 2019. Mm. First of all, let me start by appreciating God for the when the pregnancy was so full with ease. It was so peaceful. I experienced peace during her pregnancy. No challenge of one kind, sickness or whatever. I, I strongly saw that God was right beside me. It's not because I'm so righteous or whatever, but God is just too faithful to fail me. So he was with me from the beginning, right from the day I conceived, he was with me. I saw it. I saw God in action. Till the day, the day, day. I gave birth to my baby girl, 20th of October, 2019. And along the line, on the 18, I, I started feeling, you know, if you are a mommy, you understand what I'm saying. I started feeling like I, her head was set or something. 19. My EDD was actually 20th of October. I started noticing on the 18th, I have to jog around my compound. I just exercised myself. I I was warming up because I know that her EDD will not pass. It will be any of those two days. So I just have to do a little exercise and warm my system, prepare my system for the journey. Seriously, it was a journey. It was a journey that mm, I went, I saw, I conquered, and God brought me back alive. I'm giving God the glory, I'm giving God the praise for, a, I don't know, it is. it was just more than a safe delivery. God is, you know, this God is, is so kind. He's so compassionate. That's why I'm always saying the love God has for us, human. If we were to be men, truly we'll be asked to pay for it. Truly we'll be asked to pay for the love that a fellow man or a fellow man will have for you. Who on earth will walk on the street to distribute children to people? No. If people that um, adopt, they buy the children. So I'm giving God the glory for that privilege, for giving it fit for me to be a mom. Like I said earlier, it's not my right. I know it's not my right. That's why I'm giving all the, all the glory. Okay, guys, I didn't tell you what brought this um, storyline of my delivery. Uh, the day on two days ago when I was celebrating her birthday. Uh, a few of my social media handles, um, most of the subscribers requested for the full story because I just I just gave them a short story or or how the thing uh, it was and they requested for the full story time of the delivery and everything. But since I didn't vlog it, I'll just show you some few pictures about it. So I decided to also use this medium. To testify again because it's just like a testimony, a story time. 
testimony of my delivery last year. So as I was saying, I saw God in action. And I gave birth to her at exactly 2 p.m. last year, October 20th. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy because I don't know. I'm just, the, the joy is overflowing. I don't know whether it's, 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 it has filled my heart. There's no space for problems and sadness, anger, or whatever. The joy in my heart is only God in heaven, in heaven that can see this joy in my heart. Oh, in the morning, I ran for a.m. Right. Yes, if I can remember very well, I think uh, that's when my water broke. You know, when the water broke now, uh, a novice mom. And I think I saw a little stain of blood. That got me terrified. And like, I just told my husband, you should stand up and let's prepare and start heading to the hospital because from my study when you yeah it's called a show when you see your show you have to start packing your um, your bag your hospital bag and all this thing so i now say that was my show uh, although most people say their show um always they will see their show three days four days before they deliver but i don't know my own was that same moment and i, I just went to the um, um restroom to urinate I saw it again and I came back, the labor started. I wasn't able to, I mean, I thought that was the first time I have known level, eh? That was the first, I think it just, it just grabbed my waist. I told my husband it's time, well, we need to start heading to the hospital. I, I started feeling the labor like that. But not too severe, but I know that was the first time I felt the pain, although then we, we, yeah, I won't forget, I called my mom in the Lord, mommy, Idrin, Achibong, I called her, and she was like, oh, Sister Christy, you have to stand up, and you have to start heading to the hospital now, you don't need to stay back home, just start going right now, and she... I so much appreciate mommy let me use this medium to thank you again to thank you for for being my digital gynecologist well i don't even know what to do but you your advice you think it's a little advice but it's, it's so deep it goes by it sinks in my memory mommy thank you so much i love you love you god bless you man i can never talk of my daughter's delivery day without remembering you and daddy because uh, God used you people last year for us. You people were there. Show concern, your love. Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you, daddy. God bless you. I love your family so much. So as I called mommy, she now encouraged me to start heading to the hospital. So we, we took off, we left the house at exactly 5 a.m. heading to the hospital that morning. I suddenly I felt, I started feeling normal again, like normal, nothing was happening. We got to the hospital, we went to the labor ward and all those things there. And I had the normal procedure, the nurse and everything, the labor proper. Started. It starts. The one around 8 a.m. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was a YouTuber then to vlog it for you guys to see how <laughs> to see to see how my movement was. <laughs> my pattern of movement changed. What are you saying? The lady that I went, I, I met a lady there in the world. She was equally on level two. She gave it to a baby boy and I gave it to a baby girl the same time. Because it's just a few. I met, I came, I met her um, on level. She was already on level. So 
me and she, you know now, <laughs> we started we started doing the drama for our husbands to watch. <laughs> her own was terrible. She had to lose her proper without finding that <laughs> somebody else's husband was <laughs> in the world. You know that thing? Is this thing called level? When the thing hits you, eh? <laughs> if you are not careful, you look as if you want to remove all the clothes you have in your body. You would be. But I want to use this medium to appreciate God for the man he gave me as my husband. Because through all these pains, through all, through all, I don't know, but he was, he was 100% involved. When the labor pain comes, when I look at him, <laughs> anytime I say, okay, sorry, I... I have strength, I understand. You know when you when you have someone that is rubbing your waist, eh, you know when when your your waist is rubbed, the level the thing is a little, and you have someone that is holding your hand for you to be taking some steps so that it will fasten the level. Ah, he was there for me. My king, I love you so much. Mwah. Seriously, he was there for me hundred percent and. He was so involved from the beginning to the end. Then gradually, gradually, and that was on a Sunday. Yes, it was on a Sunday. October 20th, 2019 was a Sunday. So mm, I think he called, he called to inform our, our pastor about the, uh, updated them about the everything and they were in church. So praying for us. And seriously, their prayers were heard by God. <sighs> 12 noon. Hey, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> it's in the time I had, though. It was as if, eh? I don't know, but <laughs> I can't explain it. I don't know, but <laughs> and I was not even able to stand erect again. And when the thing hit me like that, it was very severe. That one was sharp. I felt my daughter's, as in around my waist, as if she, she I don't know, they say the, the doctor was calling it crowning, the, her head was crowning, like, you know. Hey, when the head was trying to fix, I prepare. Mm. <laughs> I thank God for my own daughter because <laughs> when I when it look as if I want to do as if you want to do me to cry, uh, <clears throat> I receive strength. And I also thank God for my sister in law, Auntie Sarah. She was there. She taught me how to take the step, step by step, to also fast track the labor. Encourage me not to sit one place. That when I'm sitting down, the labor will be delayed. So. She was there for me. And Sarah, wherever you are right now, I love you so much. If you are watching this, know that I'm so grateful. And I cannot remember my daughter's birthday without remembering you all. I'm mentioning here. God bless all of you for standing by me. God bless all of you for being so consigned that day. I love you all. And we stole out of the hospital, thrown in. Ah, the thing was ah, sometimes when she was out, ah, hmm. She would tell me, she would tell me, don't shout. <laughs> Every time she would tell me, my love, don't shout, don't shout. Mm -mm, mm. That's how they used to say it in my language. It wakes you. She would do me like this to breathe it out. <sighs> that was what I was doing. <sighs> she would tell me I should not shout. That when the pain comes very severe, all I should do is. Uh, If it comes again, I should not do ah, ah. some ladies. <laughs> some ladies. I'm saying it that laughing, and that I was not able to laugh. So ladies, you shout. Hey! I don't like you. I just say that now I'm dead or something. This guy wants to be So my own, I was winning the digital stack. <laughs> I was in the digital stack in a modernized way, modernized label. So uh, oh, God, 
when it was now 1 p.m. Was it 1 or some minutes to 2 to 2 p.m.? Ah, yeah, yeah. That was the last one. I was not able to. That was when <clears throat> she wanted to come out. I was not able to move my head. So they took me inside for the delivery proper. <sighs> Do you know what? The devil showed up. <laughs> The devil wanted to come and turn my joy into tears. The devil wanted to come and put, wanted to put pins, put tears in the eyes of my husbands and my loved ones. Do you know, I don't know, but what I can recall was that I don't know, the, the, the doctors, they were just confused. I don't, they were just like, they don't even know what to do. The midwives, and all those things they were saying, I was hearing them, but in my, I was far. I'm hearing what they are saying, but I was no longer there. All I was, I can recall that I was saying in my heart was, God, you started it with me, finish it for me. In that process of the confusion, they decided to um, call the theater unit. Mm. That uh, um, the doctor said that uh, whether I was bleeding or something. Yes, I was bleeding. The doctor said I was bleeding. That he has not seen this kind of uh, pattern of labor before. The midwife, the same thing. They had to call TSC unit. Tell my husband to go and sign up for um, the approve for them to take me to the theater. <sighs> All of that. I was hearing them, but my eyes were closed because. I was communicating with my father. Then my husband uh, later just me that during that process of the confusion, he noticed that the doctors and the nurses, they were a little bit confused. He had to pick up his phone and call our pastor, Pastor Chibon, the poor. The pastor in full like Christian church. He, he called him and it was not, no distant time, he came around and from the from what my husband told me that he immediately he told me when when the, I don't know how the thing happened or, but the, the theater doc, the doctor in charge of the theater unit whether his phone was whether it was not picking or whether say he was in church or something I don't know but the story of my husband has already gone to sign I've taken his blood test to take his blood for me man it it has it was almost. I was almost to, like to be taken to the theater. I don't know. God just brought a doctor. I, I've forgotten his name. You and Tinata, he normally check me up. I've forgotten his name. God brought him to the world. And immediately he stepped in. He said, ah, that this lady cannot be taken to the theater. Her baby has already crowned the head. Like, as in he's seen it. So, why theater if the baby has already crowned? That the midwife should come and Hold me for delivery. Ah, that was the head though. I just like I say, ah, God, are you the one that brought this angel that is talking? Then my husband was as a called pastor. Pastor arrived. My husband was just right beside me, holding my hands. The midwife asked me to push the baby. And I held my husband and I pushed the baby. That was when our pastor checked in. My husband will always say, immediately, pastor, I she checked in, the devil checked out. The devil checked out in no distant time. It just like a breeze. I don't know, but everything returned back to normal. The doctors, the midwives, they just get the reality that they were losing him, but their brain, their senses, everything returned back to normal and I heard the cry of my baby. She came out full of vibes and strength. I felt it that she came out. Oh, and I felt that yes. The devil is a failure in my life, is a failure in my marriage, and is a failure forever to anything that 
concerns me. That day God proved himself how faithful he is. So my brothers and sisters, it's not that I just I'm just looking for what to do, a video to make. Um I'm using this medium to tell God thank you for what he did. October 20, 2019 is a forever memory. It has thank you, Jesus. I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to God. So we left the house. We left uh, after they tidy the baby up, tidy me up. I was still bleeding. Hmm. Yeah. The, the midwife was still scared that uh, I've, I've bled a lot, that if I'm not being transfused, something might likely happen, nothing bad. I bet I saw it. God was with me. I still stood up with strength. After the time, they gave me the injection and stopped trying to... Dr. Chris, yes, I remember his name. Dr. Chris came and tried to help control the bleeding. He's a specialist in delivery. He tried, he tried his best and the bleeding, the bleeding was controlled and I was now taken to the postnatal ward where moms, you know, they just give birth to baby moms, always stay with the baby. When I stepped down from the bed after delivery, I felt, I don't know, I don't know how, maybe an, an you know how empty bottle is. I was so empty. And you know, guys, I forgot to tell you that during the labor, whatever I put, the food my husband brought, as in, I was vomiting everything. And the nurse that was on duty that morning was like, ah, a lady that wants to put to bed, wants to give birth, is vomiting, that I will lose out my strength, that I might not be able to have strength to push the baby. I vomited a lot. Like, I was weak before I even stepped into the, the world for delivery. I've already been weak. Even if I take glucose, I will still vomit it. I don't know. Since that morning, the, I gave birth, nothing stayed in my tummy. Whatever I eat, like they know, say some, some children are like that. They don't want anything to disturb them. They make sure they push everything out and clear the way. So... My baby was visually when I eat, you take the, the push the food out and I would throw up. Oh God, like, I threw up and I was even scared. I was scared, seriously, to be sincere. I was scared, but I was playing this song right beside me. It says love by Mercy Chingo. I know that the love God has for me is so essence, and I know that He would take me in and bring me back safe and sound. So to the glory of God, I went and I came back alive. To his name alone be highly exalted. So, my baby is one year old now. Two days ago. <sighs> this one year experience. <laughs> Maybe I will say it will be another story. <laughs> like I can't combine this now, so the video will not be too uh, long. Another story, but I've seen God in this one year. God has been so faithful, God has been with her. So I give God the glory. I give God the glory for making her to grow in Him, in His wisdom, in good health. Say, God, thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you for all you are doing for me and my family. And to every woman out there that is married, praying and crying, seeking for the fruit of the womb, the word of the Lord said that we should ask in Matthew 7, 7. That whatsoever we ask in his name, that he will do. Don't lose hope. Continue to have that faith. Faith is that thing that keeps you walking. You believe that, yes. Always have that mind. Believe that you will carry your baby. A day will come for you to carry your baby. Delay can never be denied. So God will bless you with your babies. 
I pray God bless all mothers out there with the fruit of the womb. Bless them with children, abundance children, children of, that will give them joy, children that will bring them peace, children that will bring them prosperity, joy of children. Experience in every marital home in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? And give this video a thumbs up. Share to your friends and comment your feedback. Highly welcome. Bye. <laughs>